Welcome to another episode of Choose a Career. Today I'm here with Jessica from Aurora Flight Sciences. Sciences. Yes. Okay, and y'all are a manufacturing company. Tell us a little bit about what y'all do. Yes, uh, well, we are a subsidiary of Boeing. Uh, so if you've ever seen the big Boeing 737 jets that fly out of the airport um, locally, um, that's Boeing, so we're a part um, of that company. We're a subsidiary. Uh, we do manufacturing, um, but we also um, focus on um, systems engineering and autonomy. Uh, we have different drones that we build and a lot of research and development programs. Um, so a lot of those programs we work out of um, different locations. I'm based out of our Manassas, Virginia office where we're headquartered. Um, but we do a lot of our manufacturing work um, here in Columbus, Mississippi, also Bridgeport, West Virginia. And we do a little bit of manufacturing in Virginia, but mainly our largest parts are either in West Virginia or Mississippi. So in our um, Columbus site, we focus on NASA programs. Um, we have programs with the DOD, um, and then we have some commercial programs as well. So um, our Gulfstream program, we manufacture those wings for the private jets. Um, we work on different parts for um, some military aircraft as well. Um, and one of our exciting programs is our um, NASA program program um, that we work on and we partner with Ole Miss um, counterparts for our NASA Space Grant Consortium so uh, which I'm really excited about because I work with that team personally and just our interns that get to come in for our Columbus site not only do they get experience working with Aurora and can put that on their resume as a Aurora flight science intern a Boeing company but they're also going to be a NASA Space Grant recipient um, so I love that we specifically have that opportunity for or our interns coming into Columbus. Um, but we have all kind of different positions um, from engineering to all of our technicians that work at the site. Um, for every one engineer that we bring in, we probably have about 12 to 15 um, technician positions. Uh, we are right in the middle of preparing for a very large expansion. Um, specifically for manufacturing but uh, both of our sites. So we're currently um, in the middle of construction in our West Virginia uh, facility, but here in Mississippi, um, we have approval for our design plans and we're gonna be expanding that space. And that'll be and in Columbus? That size in Columbus, yeah. Okay. So we currently have um, you know, three pretty large buildings that we work out of, uh, but we're gonna be expanding those spaces, connecting the buildings, and we're expanding our current programs that we have um, where we're going to be building even more parts but then we're also bringing in new work as well so we're expanding all over and we have opportunity in every single um, part of the company in uh, Columbus so we have the engineering positions but then we also have all of our technician positions and all the other positions that support that work so you're gonna have supply chain folks as right. well um, IT so when you think about some of your um, corporate type support positions we have that in a manufacturing facility as well um, so one of the um, great opportunities for students here locally, um, there's programs where um, you can get experience with industrial maintenance, um, also um, experience working with machining and programming um, and CNC machines. We, um, we love students that have that type of background. They can come in and already have that exposure to that type of environment uh, because we do use um, CNC machines to um, do some of the operations in our process and if we can bring someone in with that experience if they've gone to um, Northwestern Northwestern for example um, that's great they already have that experience but then we can bring technicians in as well and train them as far as the advanced composites and, and doing that layup work um, it's not something that's offered everywhere and we're definitely aware of that um, it is um, a specialty that we're really good at but we will also train um, folks to do that work. So, you know, you're coming out of high school, um, and even if you have been exposed during a vocational program within high school, or even if you're doing um, a two-year type of program, um, we love to have those folks come over, and then we can expand upon that and teach, you know, here's what we do specific to advanced composites, because that's what we use in the aerospace industry. You know? Right, and speaking of, this is, so this is like a fabric type material. Yes, so this is 
is carbon fiber material so you can see from this material I can bend it shape it however I want to it's very very light material right. so this is what we make um, airplane parts out of because it is so light but once we take this material we can put it on a tool um, that kind of like um, a candy mold or right. like a cake pan if you want to make a specific cake to look a certain way right. we have tools that do the same thing that are made out of metal kind of like a specialty cake pan and we lay this material based on the engineering designs we can mold sure. and shape the material to that tool and then we push it into an oven just like you would a cake um, so it bakes for a certain amount of time different parts require um, different temperatures and different timing once it comes out it ends up being it a part turns out like this and it's super hard if oh, you just yeah. like knock on right. that yeah structurally extremely sound plenty strong enough to build an airplane out of yes because if we took something that originally started off that hard, um, a different kind of material, it would, it would be probably very be very heavy. heavy. Um, you probably wouldn't even have to worry about crashing out of the sky because you wouldn't even be able to lift right, off the ground it with it. <laughs> so for students who are in high school and they say, I might be interested in working in a manufacturing facility facility like that, mm -hmm. what training do they need to have? Mm -hmm. Is that the Northwest program? Um, yes, that would be helpful um, if they had any kind of training where they could be exposed to maybe CNC programming, um, mm -hmm. working. I can use CNC, myself. CNC, by the way, is where you take a computer and take a model and then yes. you have to program that computer to tell the machine what to do. Uh -huh. Yes, the um, cutting path of that tool. Correct. So um, that's one program. Um, also, if there's um, any um, programs that expose students to advanced composites right. that's always great but that's not necessarily something that they have to have because it is very limited to specific areas we do partner with Mississippi State um, they have an advanced composite Institute and we work with them also for workforce development so we understand that that is a training and technology that is just isn't you know universal right um, which is why we provide those opportunities to train and you, you all have a number of jobs that. available for students right out of high school uh, we do if they would like to go into the technician type of roles. Sure. Um, sometimes we do have um, positions that are um, within material control or production control if we need to bring in folks to help with the inventory that's coming in with the materials that we're going to be using to lay up these parts. Um, we do have opportunities like that, just not as many as our technician sure. roles. Um, as we expand, we're going to need those positions too. Um, but the biggest opportunity that we're going to have is within our technician space, although we're going to have openings all over. Okay, so if students are interested in that, you can visit our career coach, Ms. Hennessy, and she can discuss with you uh, the different types of trainings that you might need to be applied for working with this company. Uh, you mentioned DOD. A lot of students might not know that. That's Department of Defense. So y'all yes. are obviously, y'all have a big arm around aerospace as a whole. Y'all are in and yes. out of a lot of different organizations. Yes, and we do um, have you know opportunities with NASA as well. Um, so something new uh, that we've been working on starting this summer, I partner with a few professors over at Ole Miss and uh, they are on the NASA Space Grant Consortium Board. Okay. Um, we have planned out a certain amount of internships and we've given them the R projections at Aurora for the next five years. So anyone that does decide they want to go into a four-year program once they're a freshman, they are qualified to work with us as an intern. And get paid. So automatically, you're going to have a paid internship. You'll be able to put a Royal Flight Sciences, a Boeing company, on your resume. But if you're working out of that Columbus facility, you will be a NASA Space Grant recipient. So you can also add that to your resume as That's well. That's amazing. Yes. Amazing opportunity. Students, uh, some of you might not understand the geography of the state of Mississippi. Columbus is right on the line, uh, the Mississippi-Alabama state line, but it's about mm -hmm. a 20-minute drive to Starkville, 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. So it's real close to Starkville, which is where Mississippi State is. So she said basically you could work at Mississippi State. Uh, get your schooling at Mississippi State, also make the short drive over to Columbus to that facility, work at the same time, and get paid. Obviously, they're going to want you to stay with them when you get trained. So you've got basically a promised job 
after uh, college and after that training. And I'm assuming with as many branches as y'all have in your company that there's plenty of room for people who are trained to accelerate up the ladder in the, within the company. Oh yes, um, you know I discussed that with a few students earlier. Um, the opportunities are limitless. I, I mean I've seen it at a few other companies and um, I've never seen movement the way I have at Aurora. There's so many opportunities, even myself. I've been in multiple roles where I've supported work on different programs. Um, I've been, well, in, I'm in a management role right now and my team um, has a few different responsibilities, but I've been exposed to so many different areas of the company and we do the same with our technicians that might be interested in doing that work and maybe um, transition to a quality position mm -hmm. and start inspecting the parts that they've had so many years um, working to build. You know, now they're transitioning to they know so much about that process and operation. I'm interested in doing the inspection for it. Well, we have opportunities to move people around and transition. And these are some very well-paying jobs in aerospace. Yes. So you will you will be get, <laughs> you will be greatly compensated with benefits and the whole nine yards. So the benefits are good. Yes, I bet they are. <laughs> All right. Anything else you'd like to say before we go? Um, just. You know, we are open to just so many opportunities and having students come in. They can come in and see our workspace and we partner with a lot of different schools and bring them on site uh, to get exposure to what it is that we do at Aurora. Um, sometimes it's easier um, to show what sure. we're actually doing. So, you know, if you're ever in the area and you want to get that exposure, bring a group out. We would love to host you. Um, also, you know, I work a lot with um, folks at Mississippi State University and our Advanced Composite Institute um, and EMCC also on some projects too. So if there are students that are interested, even in schooling um, in that area, we can get together and um, talk to folks over in some of the programs there and take some tours and introduce them to counterparts at the schools. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for visiting us today. Thank you so much for hosting me.